Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sun where we're doing a Nuzlocke run and we are here at this observatory. And we're here during the day which is pretty much the worst time to go to an observatory but whatever. Oh is it? Does it actually? It does let us go down the mountain. Oh hello. I wasn't aware that you were a trainer. And you didn't look like you were watching the parabol the parabolic antenna. Gotta, gotta make sure I know how to pronounce words before I say them. Parabolic. Well, this fairy is toast. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, it lived. I expected it to be very dead. I would have liked it to be very dead. But let's just give it a bite. Good enough. I know, right? Uh, maybe some of them can. Oh, okay. Oh. Y you call me a weakling? So I'm guessing we're going to get a ride Mudsdale sometime soon. Maybe. Okay, that stuff's very expensive and not terribly worth getting. And over here, yeah, we're pretty good on stuff. Okay. Oh. Might as well. So Mr. Mullane maintains the PCs here. Though, since it just takes us straight into the PC, uh, we don't have to choose, like, go to Person X's PC in this game. Like how in Ruby and Sapphire we had to go to Lynette's PC to organize our boxes and whatnot. Let's have some Rose Raid tea. This is the first episode of Pokemon that I've recorded in America. So that's neat. And since I didn't change the time on my 3DS clock, it means that it'll actually be easier for me to have recordings during the in-game day. Because it's easier for me to record in the real-life night. Also, it's true that drinks normally cost an arm and a leg up at the top of a mountain. Like, while I was in Japan, I went to uh, a mountain shrine and... The vending machines... Oh, this is open, but we can't go through. The vending machines up at the top charged an extra... I think it was like 30 yen per drink relative to the drinks at the bottom. And that's like... That's inside the Ropeways uh, little base stations. Like, you could take a gondola from one to the other and just up top, they cost more. Oh, uh, no. Uh-huh. I gotta say, 
This truck here that I'm facing is being a jerk to the other truck. Ought to be pretty hard to get that door open and squeeze through. Really? Nothing around here? Oh, but there is. I like how there's no railing and we could just fall right on off. At least we'd be able... Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Okay. Neat. Okay. Oh, thank you. What is a moon ball? Um, balls go in here. Oh, interesting. Isn't that what nest balls do? Uh, let's sort by type. That way the balls all go together. Okay, nest balls are just objectively lower level while level balls are lower level than your Pokemon. Okay. I get it. I knew it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Y you realize he's not wearing a mask right now, right? Oh, is he? All right, have fun losing, guy. Oh, you've got three Pokemon. Gives you a leg up on most of the competition. Alright, so as much as I want to keep trying for flinches here, we're just gonna toast this bird nice and quick. And here's the toasting. Why would you raise your attack and then use a special move? Are you some kind of idiot? Really? Yeah, if you're just gonna heal up the same amount that I'm gonna do, Really, you're just making me waste one PP, and that is literally all you're doing. Yeah, let's not leave Marsha in for a Doug Trio. Uh, yeah, Lucy. Or wait, no. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Lucy. I was just thinking it's probably a lowland dug trio, so it's probably also steel type, which could make things annoying, but then again, water works just fine on steel. So, no real difference. Okay, yeah, we're fine. And there it goes. With its long, flowing locks. Ooh, a Matang. That evolves into my favorite Pokemon. So it is Psychic Steel. So let's just... Oh, but wait. It could use Psychic on this guy, and that would be bad. 
Dennis, on the other hand, can make very quick work of it. Was it worth it? Clearly it was not. So many levels. Yeah. Arguably the best in the region. I mean... Certainly there are better ones out there at the moment, at least in terms of what Pokemon they have, but... Yeah. Well, yeah, it's because I'm better than you. Oh, I believe you know, sir. Yeah, probably. Oh, thanks. All right, we could use the heels. Pokemon Center is right there, and we do expect there to be a challenge inside the observatory after all. All right. And now we go to the observatory. Well, certainly looks high tech in here. Though the magazine rack doesn't look very high tech. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. I'll be selling this soon. That was all you had to say about that? Suddenly, clutter. Beep boop. I agree. Okay. All right. Nothing hiding back here? Nope. I spy a meteor we can probably use to change Deoxys's form if we had one. That is indeed why I came here. Never been. At least not on this file, so... And also, even on the file where I have been there, it's not great. At least not yet. So, no. Right here. Your room's gonna get trashed, kid. He would have said the same thing regardless of which answer we chose. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. Uh-huh. All right. Hmm. Is that what you call him? 
Oh, okay. Oh, this is the 2.0 one, huh? What was the problem with 1.0? Okay. Oh, hey, Pokemon just got healed. Grubbin. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about this grubbin. Other than murder it. Oh, hey, at least I can murder it. And I can murder it quite effectively. Oh. Oh, hey, look, it's a little bit of Zygarde. How did I miss that? Uh, Rotom decks. Oh, a Charger Bug. Is the totem going to be a Vikavolt? This one's not pure bug type, so wing attack isn't super effective. Oh, wow. It's got some defense. Well, how about we toast it? Toasty. But you just gave me a word of congratulations. This door stays open for like no time at all. Then again, it stayed open for the entire duration of the battles each time, so I guess it's not a completely unacceptable duration. Yeah, it's going to be a Vika Volt. Calling it now. That's a Charger Bug. We just heard that. Hey, look, it's another charger bug. So let us once again swap over and then toast it. Oh, you little jerk. I needed that accuracy. Maybe. No, it looks like I'm fine without it. Uh-huh. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's been shame on you for a while.
So you're going to have me answer one more question? Okay. A totem Pokemon. Here. Yep, it's Vikavolt. I guessed it. Not that it was that hard to guess. Thing's neat looking. I want one. Oh, stats plural. We'll have to see what it's gained. Oh, everything. That's a little frightening. But we should still be able to toast it quite well. We can also clear smog its stat changes away. That might be a good start here. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, this is going to get dangerous. This is going to get very dangerous. Um, okay, if I use clear smog right now, then I would probably get killed by the charge bug and Vikavolt together. Wait, Vikavolt isn't bug type? Is it pure electric? Well, let's get rid of the charger bug. Because I'm pretty sure the Vikavolt can't one-shot us. And if it can't, then we can just heal up afterward and we've bought ourselves a little bit of time. Okay. That's not the greatest outcome we could have hoped for. Um, I'm pretty sure Vikavolt has Levitate. But if we send Petrus out, he can use Smackdown and then Bulldoze it. And Petrus has defense. Really? Why you got the paralyze hacks going on, guy? Still, it's not like we would have been faster anyway, so as long as we aren't fully paralyzed, we'll be fine. That's not good for us. Okay, so... Oh, wait. it It's still a bug type. It's just I hadn't fought one before, so it wasn't going to tell me that... It was super effective. Okay. I get it now. So I think we're probably still better off going for the charger bug in this. Or wait, no. This is what we're better off doing. Really? Another charge? Glad I'm not using special attacks. Please crush the charger bug. So close. Okay. Uh, things are getting a little dangerous. So I'm going to go ahead and use a super potion right now. Just to ensure that I can survive the charged spark that is probably incoming. Yeah. Just had to make sure there. All right, so I kind of want to heal again. I'm not going to lie. But uh, let's just fingers crossed. Okay, we're good. If it, had, if it had decided to attack, we might have had problems. But since it didn't, we might win right here, right now. Hooray! And Petrus has hit level 36, which means I'm now allowed to evolve him again. I'll do that between episodes. No, I don't want no stealth rock.
Okay, can we have the lights turned back on, please? Thank you. Well then. All right. Yeah, we did the thing. Watching what? Who? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Hmm. Is that so? Oh, wow. Got two Z crystals from one trial. Uh huh. What would that be? Oh. Sure. Wow, it's not letting me investigate anything. I'm mashing the A button and nothing's happening. Okay, yeah. That is almost certainly the Deoxys form changing meteor. Well, I guess that's that, that's that for this place. So let's get healed up after that trial. I'm sure my Pokemon need it. Yeah, they do. And that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we start making our way down the mountain. See you then, friends.